Yo, what's up, people? No need to uh, put in some intro music, because I figure this commentary topic will cover the whole video, and it will cover for the rest of the week. And also, last video, I did say that there'd be four days of triple nukes. Well, I'll make it six days. In fact, Chaos V, who got the last triple nuke, also got two today, which today is an invalid term in five minutes. At the start of this comic, it's 11.55 p.m., Cutting it close, I procrastinated for two and a half hours to do this commentary because I just started playing, and I'm playing enveloped the rest of the day, so... WHATEVER! It should be a good comp, you know. Very big awkward break there, but... Introducing this gameplay is... Uh, triple Nuke with the Vector. A very rare gun to see in a Triple Nuke format. We've seen the FAL, the AN, and... I don't know if there's any other guns that are heavily used in triple nukes. Now I know the enemy isn't too bright, he's using C4, but y you get what you get with the idea that it's a triple nuke. Now it's, it's nice to watch the video, but bear with me, it's all about the commentary. It's all about me. Because in all reality, this gun is shooting blanks, it's a fucking cum stop, it does not work. For me at least. But for him it's getting triple nukes, and it's doing very good. So I don't know if I'm going to upload the triple nuke Monday, which is six triple nukes for a week, and or I should just hold it back for another special, you know, whatever it's called. So this is the triple nuke week, since we have triple nukes covering every single day, and I do hope to get the commentary topic out. This is a long gameplay. I mean, it's it's like fucking etch a sketch that just expanded in all directions. If you actually know what I just said, Nobel Peace Prize to you. Okay, on to the commentary topic. Now, if you haven't seen the last video, see it so you're caught up with this. Just stop this video, throw your computer out the window, get a new one, and watch the last video. Because that's where it picks off. I describe zombie maps, rate them, give all the pros and cons, and so on and so forth. And last video, I got to Verox and not to Antone. Vice versa, actually. So, this video, I don't know how far I'm going to get. I might get three done. Most likely, at least going to get two done. Shoot a new moon to Reese. Might actually get to Black Ops Zombies, and if I get four done, oh my god, I'm a beast. So here we go, starting with Shino Numa. I, I don't know where to go with this map. Honestly, coming from Verrucked, it was slightly better. It did introduce the Asian Zombies, which did have a harder time to see you if you jumped up or down a little bit. <laughs> Funny, sorry. I'm kidding. Don't, don't take offense to that. And the map, all the... All it introduced was the Wonder Wolf, the first real special weapon. Special weapon in the terms of, you have the ray gun as a special weapon, but you also have that weapon that kills massive amount of zombies with each bullet, or it does something special. You get the point. Whatever. And I still don't think it did revolutionary. It did nothing more except, uh, except nothing. Really, it didn't. It might have added a carpenter. I'm pretty sure. But don't get me wrong, right or wrong on that one, because I don't know specifically, because, eh, I don't know, you know. I didn't play that map that much, because I disliked the map a lot. It had a terrible format, the swamps always just dragged you down. I didn't like going to the swamps, it was a very basic map. Let's see, there was one, two, I think there was four doors, and then four more, there was, there was, there was four, six, ten, ten doors, I think, all together. Now, that's pretty bad, honestly. And the map is really broad. Every door would open, like, a territory as big as this map. Yeah, I... I the map is on slums. Whatever. It's, it's, it's good, no matter how you put it. Okay, back, back to Shinonuma. In... It really wasn't too detailed. It looked like they just tried to slop something together, come up with a few ideas that briskly just hit the underminer and failed. Really, it's just... I... I... I just have the temptation to strangle myself with a pillow rather than play that map continuously. Terrible. See, it introduced the Wonder Wolf, which, by description of my friends, now listen to this description of the Wonder Wolf, if you people know it. An STG with a light bulb. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, okay. Now, I'm gonna give this map a uh, 2 out of 5. And I'm blatantly putting that 2 out there. I mean, the map design's terrible. The gameplay is nothing special, although, although I just I just recognize this right now. It introduced the four characters we all knew, no knew, knew and loved, which were uh, Tank, Richtofen, Nikolai, 
No, we don't love Rick Tolkien. He's a fucking Jew or whatever. And Rick, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Big Lock. Dempsey. There you go. That's all four of them. Now, that's the only thing good about that map. Other than the special weapon, which I've already said 50 fucking times. I always repeat myself. That's really it. So that keeps it at a two, and the only reason it has a two is because of those characters and the Wonder Waff. So Wonder Waff de definitely branched out zombies in a new way. So that's that map. Covering that really quickly. Actually, that was about three minutes. It wasn't that bad. And going to Doris. Doris is something special. Truly something special. That revolutionized. Even though it didn't add a ton of stuff, it added necessary stuff. It kept the characters, uh, uh, kept the Wonder Waff, but it added probably one of the most important features of any zombies. That is upgrading. I love it. And that's one of my favorite maps to upgrade because unlike nowadays when you have to like do a whole complex fucking like clusterfuck of shit to get to the uh, Pack-A-Punch and then usually you can only Pack-A-Punch once and then the whole map implodes around you. So you just had to do the length of teleporters, and you'd have the pack much open forever. That was great. It led to rounds being easier to achieve, people getting farther, people being like, oh, fap, 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 I did good. It was great. The map design was also good. It was simplistic. It stuck. The name stuck. Everything stuck. It was great. You know, uh, did it add any new weapons? I don't think so. But it did take a few away a few weapons, which I didn't mind. I think it took away the double barrel shotgun. And it, I think, no, Shinunum also added monkey bombs. I forgot that, but does not affect its score. It still sucks. It's an irrelevant map, invalid argument. And it, it was overall good. I'm going to give it actually a 4.5 out of 5, just because I don't feel it was perfect. You know, there is aspects of the map that were flawed. Very few, like, the map design was good. But it wasn't perfect. That's what I'm saying. And they could have probably did a little bit more with it. Like, a little bit more than they did now. But they didn't do it. So it gets a good 4.5 out of 10. I spent uh, 4.5 out of 5. I spent half my life on that freaking game. On that map. I probably had 30 game, thirty days game time on Zombies in World of War. And Black Ops, probably about 10 hours. So, I'm not too good at judging the Black Ops map. So I probably have one more. And that is Kino Dirtone of Black Ops 1. Now, this map, it starts out Black Ops with a good, you know, feeling for zombies. The map wasn't bad. Practically revolutionized nothing. Added the Thunder Gun. Probably the best uh, Wonder Weapon ever. It's the cutest one. It's awesome. And I that and the Wonder Waff go head to head. Now, if the Wonder Waff didn't, like, give you a seizure and reduce the jug, it would probably be just as good. But that's just a whole different story. So if you know your tone, it has the bitch-ass uh, pack-a-punch ability, which you have to link a teleporter, and then the teleporter just queefs out and doesn't even function right after a few rounds. So I don't like that. But uh, it's overall good. I mean, it's, it brings in a brand new set of weapons from Black Ops, all upgradable. Although, I just had to think long and hard for this one. It introduces those little uh, crawling zombies with the giant mouths with all the teeth. I do not approve. Obama has no approval of that. I don't speak for Obama, but you could bet he doesn't approve either. And I don't like him, so whatever. And they, the fact that when you kill them, they, like, blew up. They had some little fucking queef action there. And just blew up when you kill them. And then that, that whatever, I think it's Nova Zombies. I don't know the precise name. But the Nova Zombies, they are not welcome in my family. I don't like them. They, you, you kill them, as I said, and then you'd be like, breathing in the smoke. Which I don't know if it damaged you, but it definitely blinded you. Good enough that it was irritating. Now, the rating I would put on that map, I did skim over, it seems like, a lot. I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5. It, it had its advantages. It was a map fun to play. Very easy to play. But it wasn't an all-around perfect map. Next, uh, video tomorrow, Wednesday. I mean... Actually, it's Wednesday right now because this commentary took up the whole time, 11.55 to 12.05, so that's pretty interesting, but it's probably going to be uploaded like 10 years later. Oh, this is terrible. You know what? I'm just going to up upload this in the morning. You know? It's going to be uploaded in the morning. Sorry to anyone who's, uh, whatever you call it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I don't even care. Let's try and hit 50 likes. We almost did it in the last video. King Close, 45, the time of this video. 
if you have any records you want to say on zombies. I did. I was looking at the people's records last week, and I'm like, bullshit. It seems like everyone makes it around 50, 60, and 70. I don't trust you guys. Oh, this one, uh, TNT, the one who records, just went haywire. So, ignore this. You know, tell me your rounds. Tell me what you think of the maps. Pros and cons, if you disagree with my ratings. I mean, I, I could see you disagreeing with the ratings. So, goodbye. Whatever. Trademarked.